The Bundoran Weekly is brought to you by AIB, supporting local businesses in Bundoran. For more, see AIB.ie. Hi everyone, it's Shane Smith, Bundoran Tourism Officer. It is Friday the 5th of May 2023 and I'm here with you for the Bundoran Weekly Podcast, episode 230. It is a podcast that talks about everything Bundoran. A little bit later on, we're going to be chatting about Darkness Into Light. It happens tonight into tomorrow morning and Carmen Mulhern from the Darkness Into Light Bundoran Committee will be joining me to tell us how the last minute preparations are getting on and how you can still take part in the event which happens overnight tonight. And also, uh, Teresa O'Neill will be with us from Bundoran Community Centre as well. As always, in our community corner, it is the end of a bank holiday week uh, for us here, and it is another bank holiday weekend uh, for our friends in the north, in Northern Ireland, and uh, we hope to see plenty of them down here in Bundoran across this weekend. Three bank holidays I have uh, this month, so uh, good luck to them on that one. It is uh, time now to take a look at what is happening entertainment-wise, and Ali Haran and Marion Kerr You'll find them tonight in the Allingham. Michaela Harkin then from 10 o'clock to midnight in the Coolmore Bar. Kieran Mackery tomorrow night in the Coolmore Bar with Johnny Brady and his band there in the ballroom tomorrow night and Sinead McLaughlin then in the Coolmore Bar on Sunday evening. Moving next door to the Bird's Nest and tonight it's Sinead Black. Tomorrow night music with John Dolan and White Lightning are there on Sunday evening. Sarah Montgomery tonight at the Chase and Bull, Von Tees then tomorrow night, and True Tones then on Sunday night. George's Bar on Main Street, Tramps and Nerves tomorrow night from 9 o'clock, and then on Sunday afternoon from 4 o'clock, the usual trad session there, and all are welcome to join in on that. Phoenix Tavern, there's live music across this weekend, and don't forget they have their late bar Saturday night until 2am. A uh, brand new acoustic Americana set with Ushin Cannon, Mark Geegan and special guest Ronan Gallagher. That's tonight from 9.30pm at Madden's Bridge Bar. They're going to be doing music each and every Friday night with a d- different theme. Uh, every Friday night it could be trad, it could be folk, it could be Americana as it is tonight and you can join them from half past nine and that is free of charge of course at Madden's Bridge Bar. Live music tomorrow night as well at the Railway Bar. Sean Gibbons tomorrow, tonight indeed at the 51 Main Street. Jerry McGinley there tomorrow night and Jerry McGinley back again on Tuesday night and music through the week at 51 Main Street and Paris of course is open tomorrow Saturday night if you want to go to the cinema well Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 the much awaited Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 is taking over the Eclipse Cinema this weekend and lots of screenings of it also in 3D and there's also the Irish movie called Lakelands that is screening this weekend as well and an autism friendly version of the Super Mario Brothers movie that's screening tomorrow morning at 11.45 so if you have uh, somebody with extra needs uh, that would enjoy the Super Mario Brothers uh, the autism friendly version of that and that is happening tomorrow morning at 11.45am at Eclipse Cinema and also great to see uh, the movie called Panfir Uh, it is a Ukrainian movie with English subtitles it is screening on Sunday and on Thursday and uh, a great uh, service for our Ukrainian community here in Bundoran and we hope that they enjoy that one. Missed it Monday then on Monday evening is the movie Creed 3. You can find the full schedule on our website discoverbundoran.com forward slash cinema or indeed at eclipsecinemas.com where you can also book your tickets. Some other events that are happening across this weekend and the Mikhail O'Cleary Summer School is happening in Rosnala across this weekend up until Sunday and uh, you can find more information on that by looking at moclery.ie or indeed you can search for our podcast episode 224 where I was joined by Fergus Cleary from the committee to tell me all about the Michal O'Cleary Summer School happening across this weekend in Ross Nyla. And looking ahead then to next weekend, the 12th to the 14th of May and it's Dominic Kerwin and friends at the Great Northern Hotel. A big weekend of country music there at the Great Northern and tickets are still available for that you can get more details from the Great Northern Hotel website and indeed from their social media pages as well still to come on this week's edition of the Bundoran Weekly with thanks to AIB.ie supporting local businesses in Bundoran and Ballyshannon we're going to be chatting to Carmel Mulhern from the Bundoran Darkness into Light Committee 
Darkness into Light, of course, happening overnight tonight and into tomorrow morning. So at quarter past four tomorrow morning, the uh, walkers will set off from Bundoran Community Centre and walk from darkness into light, the most important sunrise of the year. And Karma will be joining us to tell me a little bit more about that uh, in a few minutes' time. And also in our community corner, Teresa O'Neill will be here from Bundoran Community Centre. Do you stay with us. The Bundoran Weekly. I'm Shane Smith, Bundoran Tourism Officer. It is the Bundoran Weekly Podcast, episode 230. And coming up tonight, it is the annual event that is Darkness into Light, which has now become a worldwide event and great to see it becoming so as well. Uh, It has been happening in Bundoran here for a number of years. Of course, it's happening again tonight uh, in conjunction with all of the different Darkness into Light walks right around the country and indeed right across the globe. And I spoke earlier on with Carmel Mulhern from the Darkness Into Light Committee in Bundoran and to tell us a little bit more about how things are going in the final preparations. Carmel, it's hard to believe that Darkness Into Light has come around so quickly again and uh, it's on tonight. It's on tonight, yeah, starting at, uh, well, we pick, we meet up at about half three and it warm up beforehand and it starts, the walk takes off at 4.15. So a very important uh, event for the town. Oh, it's a very important event, and especially the way things are. People, There's a lot of people that's close to their heart, and it's a very emotional time for people. And um, us in the town of Bundoran, we love to have something to give back to the community and to all meet together. So uh, Darkness Into Light has been going now for a while. The one in Bundoran has also been going for a couple of years now. It must be the fifth or sixth year I now, think this is the sixth year coming because right. we missed two in between with sure. COVID in which us, uh, the committee, met or, ourselves and done it. But um, yeah, it's the sixth year coming and it's been very successful. And uh, generally it's always been a nice night. Uh, I mean, weather-wise. Weather-wise, it's yeah. always been, yeah, lovely and dry and everybody's so happy, you know, walking around going into the sunset, which is beautiful. Mm-hmm. And around our lovely beach, of course. So talking of that, talk to me about the, the route. It's still the same as, the as route starts if people the have same. done it before, it's the same. But if people haven't done it before, talk yeah. us through the route. It starts at Bundoran Community Centre, which is the old AIB bank on the main street. Uh, right down the main street, up the promenade, round the seafront and up the Rogi Walk. Right down then Tullahan Strand, back up the main street. And we turn at the railway bar and down to Super Value where we finish for refreshments. So you go past the community centre on this occasion. You go past occasion. the community centre on the way back. Yeah. It's the starting point, but the finishing point is Super Value. Okay, and of course, uh, the, the, that's an important point as well because there's the refreshments and the, the refreshments the tea and, and the everything is there, and a little bit of music and the the cool down afterwards, and everything will be there to give us a nice jolly half an hour together chatting and whatever. Fantastic. What about the um, on route as well? There's the reflective section as well. Oh, there is. Yes, as you go up. Coming down uh, Tullahan's, uh, no, Rogie, sorry, mm-hmm. and down into the quiet area, which is the dip there, just past the ferry bridges, I think, around that just area. Just before, I think, yeah, just around, before the just ferry before bridges, it. Yeah, yeah. Just that area, we have the quiet area where we reflect if anybody has any photographs of any loved ones or people that they'd like to put there, they can drop them into the community centre up to five o'clock this evening and then they can pick them up the next day or on Monday if they're not open on Saturday or pick them up on the night in particular. But it is a lovely area. It's quiet. There's no music in that area so people can reflect. There'll be candles lit and you can have a moment with your loved one. Sure. Um, you mentioned music as well. That's all, all, also an important there part of There will be the music all the way around the route. A lot of our local musicians is coming out to help us on the night and just make it a little bit more jolly and mm-hmm. more community involved. And Carmel, um, all of the team on the Bundoran Darkness Into Light uh, crew walking tonight in memory of a very special friend. In memory of a very special friend, Tanya Dunn, who passed away just at the end of December and was a very involved member of our committee. And we would like to just put that in her honour. Very good. Also, there's an awful lot of volunteers that, that help to, uh, to run the event. There is. There's quite a lot of volunteers starting with at the community centre. Uh, people come to put out the candles, sort out the area, make sure it's ready. Uh, we do a risk assessment of the area. And as well as that, then there's the ladies that will do the tea and the tidying up and the cleaning. And there's a lot of people. It's all local people. It's all got involved. And it's fantastic to see us all coming together. And uh, a number of sponsors involved as well. Oh, there is, yes. There's a lot of sponsors. Our main sponsor is Des Cosgrove and Supervalue for refreshments later. But a lot of all the local businesses 
have donated as well. And we want to say thanks to Oh, them, thank you to everybody course, yeah. that's involved, from the volunteer to everybody, and to yourself, Shane, to everybody that's involved in promoting this, because it's a good cause. Absolutely. So if somebody is kind of still in two minds, it's on, it's on tonight. Um, how do they register? Well, they could register up to five o'clock this evening online. Mm -hmm. But if it's a case that you can't get to register, don't feel you can't come. Come along, wear your T-shirt you had um, because you won't receive it then. And there'd be buckets there if you wish to donate. And it's all for a good cause. Of course. And uh, so a reminder again of the times. The time, uh, the kickoff time is 4.15. But we start up with a warm up just before four. But most people... Uh, meet around half past three or so and get, you know, and ready and get into the spirit of it. And we have to sign the banner of hope, which is signed in the community centre. Hopefully, weather permitting, we could have it outside. Mm -hmm. And everybody, you know, it's quite nice to put your name down and your little message, what you feel or what you think. And Carmel, for you your, yourself, it's important for you as, as a community member. Oh, to be it a part is. Of it's this. very close to my heart. Something like this, sure. and I think, like for us all to come out and join and to give hope to the people that's impacted by suicide or by self harming, and I think it's it's a good cause to come out and mark it. Great. Well, listen. The best of luck to to everybody uh, taking part in the event tonight. To yourselves as the organising committee, mm -hmm. and to anybody who's uh, getting up and making that walk. Uh, the most important sunrise of the year, I think, is what they oh, call it, is. it. and yeah. uh, it's it's a really really good uh, cause. And uh, the Pieta House darkness into light. And uh, congratulations and well done to the Bundoran team. Well, and thanks. Thank for you very me. much, Shane. Thank you. The Bundoran Weekly. Thanks, Carmel. We'll leave the contact details for Darkness Into Light Bundoran on the podcast show notes for this episode. Now let's head to Bundoran Community Centre and there is Teresa O'Neill in the Community Corner. Teresa. Have you signed up for this year's Bundoran Bay Swim? This year it will be on Saturday the 29th of July at 2pm. To register, please go to www.bundoranbayswim.com. We have the Youth Hangout every Wednesday at 4.15 to 5.30. If you're 12 to 17 years old and want a safe place to meet, play pool, board games and have some hot chocolate, come and join. Join us on Thursday the 4th of May to raise money for Alzheimer's. This tea day will be in our reception area from 10am to 1pm. We have the wonderful Handmade of Bandoran and Beyond Craft and Food Market here in the reception area of the Community Centre on Saturday the 6th and Sunday the 7th of May. Drop in from 12pm to 5pm where we will have local crafters with bakes, jewellery, candles, artwork, toys, resins and crocheting. If you would like to know more about what is going on, please sign up for our newsletter. Call into the Community Centre to, to sign up or check out our website on www.bandorncommunitycentre.com and go to our news and updates. The RAISE Outreach is here every first Friday of the month. They will help with interview preparations, help with job applications, CV preparations and much more. Their next attendance in the Community Centre is Friday the 5th of May from 12.30 to 2.30. Did you know we have printing services here in the centre? We can print, photocopy and scan. Our opening hours for our printing services are Monday to Friday, 10am to 5pm. Thanks, Teresa. We will talk to you again next week. That is going to do it for our podcast episode 230. Thanks indeed for uh, listening and indeed thanks for all your feedback. As always, it's always great to hear and you can uh, let us know what you think of the podcast. It's a podcast at bundoranweekly.com. You can also find us on Facebook and Twitter at Bundoran Weekly and uh, we would love to hear from you. Don't forget, if you are in Bundoran and you are posting on social media, use the hashtag Discover Bundoran on Instagram because we always love finding your photographs and sharing them on our own Instagram account uh, so you can use the hashtag Discover Bundoran or indeed just tag our account which is at Discover Bundoran if you're using uh, stickers uh, for your stories then do search for Bundoran as well we've got some cool little giffies there that you can use for your uh, stories on Instagram as well you can follow us wherever you're listening right now or indeed stream and download all episodes on demand at bundoranweekly.com that is it if you're walking tonight have a good one and if you're enjoying the weekend enjoy it too and we'll talk to you again next Friday have a great one good luck bye bye The Bundoran Weekly is a production of Discover Bundoran The Bundoran Weekly is brought to you by AIB supporting local businesses in Bundoran for more see aib.ie